Okay, welcome to Cognitopia. What we're showing you today is uh, a poster that we put together some years ago that was uh, an early iteration of a combination of a hardware and software solution to support uh, people with disabilities in independent living centers. And in this case, the specific uh, example that I'm showing you is a sensory department that uh, I created for my brother James, who's doing this autism. It was pretty simple. It was cobbled together from uh, home automation uh, gear at the time that was really uh, common and popular, at least among home automation uh, enthusiasts. Now, the way I used that was to know uh, when was James at home? When did, he, when did he leave? Was he home by a certain time at night? You know, it was a really important tool to give me peace of mind about what was going on uh, in his world because he had very significant autism, but he had his own apartment and he had the functional daily living skills that made it possible to do that. As his primary caregiver, I didn't want to be in his space all the time uh, and he didn't want me to be in his space all the time. So these tools allowed me to uh, help him, uh, keep an eye on him and, and, and know how he was doing without actually being there. So this all happened, you know, before the iPhone and iPad uh, revolution and the, and the real emergence of mobile devices uh, generally. And we decided well, what, to, to look instead at what we could do with just purely software-based solutions to help make people more independent uh, and to help caregivers provide support when it was needed and do that really effectively but not interfere with people when that support wasn't needed. So we developed a platform of uh, web-based applications called Cognitopia that includes some of the scheduling and, and activity planning elements of Picture Planner. Uh, it includes some of the, the reminders and, and you know, we're, look, we're, we're looking at how we can create smart reminders that uh, don't bother people when they don't need them. Uh, but we can do a lot of what we had hoped to do with hardware and, and sensored environments uh, on with just software that helps you know uh, helps people be more independent. So what 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 iPads and iPhones and Android devices have enabled is the ability for a kind of a virtual support capability that's similar, maybe not as granular or precise as what we were doing here in terms of uh, be able being able to make behavioral inferences. Uh, on a room-to-room -room basis about what someone is doing. But if, 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 if an individual has a schedule of events that, they, uh, that describe their daily activities and they go through and mark those off as complete as they accomplish them, then someone who's in a caregiving position can see that remotely from wherever they are, whether it's three blocks or 3,000 miles away. And, uh, know how things are going and triage their efforts. So if things are going okay, great, I'm not gonna bother someone. And if, uh, if, if it's not going great, you can check in, you can see how things are going, uh, or you can have someone else do that. So it provides very much the same functionality. Uh, you know, the sensor can tell you that you're fit, that taking a shower, or you can check a little box off on a schedule to, to indicate that you've taken a shower. Uh, the, the, the criterion piece of information is the same, we're just getting it a different way.